Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. So today we got a video. I'm going to pick up my Challenger. If you watched my last video, I had a lot of problems with the ride command. It going out blank and I'll explain more as I uh, ride back on the motorcycle. So I'm walking to the to the front up here so I can go and uh, get my Uber. I couldn't find a ride and uh, it was coming to kind of last minute thing and so and so I just decided to get an Uber. Uh, some of y'all might not know but I live in an RV park and uh, I made a video on that too. Uh, I think it's called my divorce RV life or it was my housing solution when I got divorced. If you want to check that one out. It's kind of I made that a few years ago, I think. Anyway, let me go. Let me go meet this Uber. Okay, so we are at the dealership. I haven't seen this baby in about a week or so. I don't remember how long ago I dropped this bike off. It took about a week to get it fixed or so, maybe a little longer. Um, so they replaced the right command. Let's see how this is going to work. Just look how how much how that metallic looks in the sun there. That that looks nice. Everything looks good on my Challenger. Let's see. I'm not forgetting anything. No. I'm going to put the screen down. That had the screen up, but there we go. Get you a little walk around. Uh, where's Oh, I was going to say, where's my phone? I'm recording with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kind of wanted to connect the Bluetooth, and maybe I'll do that later. Uh, let's get on the road. Let's so have to relearn this thing. I only rode it one time. What am I doing? Uh... There we go. Okay, there's the end in screen. Alrighty. You can either push OK or it'll time out and it'll go to the screen. There we go. Uh, okay, it is in daytime mode. I have to relearn everything because it's been a while since I dealt with it but it looks good what it would do in the past is this screen would just go away and uh, it would go into like a night mode and my Bluetooth would disconnect I want to make sure it is an auto okay so that way I want to make sure that works all right Words, how do I lower the windscreen? This button right here. See, I had to relearn everything. Okay. I like to ride with the windscreen down. Unless I'm going higher speeds. Alright. Let's go do this. I might not be able to test... I won't be able to test the Bluetooth until... Uh, I turn off the video. There she is. So I'm going to take the back way home. I'm not going to go down the freeway. So I can go at slower speeds and talk and just... So, what was going on last time when I had the bike last was I'd be riding along, the screen would be fine, and then the screen would go dark, the Bluetooth would disconnect, I wasn't listening to my tunes. I was riding it the last time I rode, well the only time I rode it, I was on my ride and I had several issues. 
I started in in the morning and it was missing so I had to shut it off and then restart it and then it worked fine after that but then the screen would go out the Bluetooth would would disconnect and I don't I don't know any uh, whether that is considered um, if it would leave me on the road is I guess as well because I don't have no experience with it there's a Harley Davidson dealership but so far this the screen looks good now I'm just gonna ride it just a bit So the whole reason I bought, well one of the reasons I bought the bike is for the screen right here. The other thing is just for the uh, uh, power that this bike has. I feel like I'm just learning this bike all over again. Uh, okay, let me find neutral. All right. I like the way the clutch is, is pretty light. I, I know I've ridden some Harleys and you had to be pretty much a, a strong man. Uh, you know, it's it's heavier than the ones on this one or on my Springfield. I don't know if, if that's just an Indian thing. They don't make the springs. Harley was the, is the only bike I've ever ridden that have a heavy uh, clutch feel. I don't know if that's a Harley thing. Harley riders just like that for some reason I don't know but so I'm trying to keep visual on the screen I was watching a video on this bike now it's already powerful but there was a there's a stage two that is I think around two thousand dollars to do and it goes from 122 horsepower to like 134 horsepower I can't remember the torque numbers but the torques also went up and I was thinking man if I keep this bike I might just do that just go ahead and uh, uh, do the stage two the mufflers is I know that you can't hear it very well but it's as far as I know it's stock but it sounds fairly loud already like it like it like it already had some slip-ons on it or something it's a very plush ride Why would a person buy, uh, give up their Springfield or any motorcycle for this bike? What made me, because I was pretty satisfied with my Springfield until I rode this. I made the mistake of going in the dealership and uh, I made the mistake of going into the dealership and uh, Test riding this sucker and the funny thing is is I, I rode this like a challenger for like at least 400 miles last year I rented one when I was in Colorado and, and went for a ride to Ure and and the million dollar mile that video is up if you want and I got a review on the bike and I didn't think much of the bike I thought ah whatever and I don't know one day I was just riding and I said you know what let me test ride this Challenger this particular blue I guess it was the color scheme and I don't know it just it felt right right so I uh, went for a test ride and then I crack open that throttle and that back tire just lit up and launched like 
like if I was on my KTM or some kind of sport bike this thing is just it's just uh, it surprises you something this big this heavy can move like it does and it's so confident in the corners and turning it it just feels natural this morning I test rode I went uh, and I'll be loading those videos up I test rode two Ducatis the first time I ever rode a Ducati I did uh, what the Diablo and uh, uh, what was the other one Multistrada I test rode those and I'll be posting videos on that and uh, it doesn't those bikes didn't well I guess because I'm more familiar with this platform this, this type of bike uh, I'm more comfortable in this thing this is just comfortable and it's fast and it looks cool I think you know that's all subject to you whether it's attractive or not but the thing what this bike has is the power yeah for a big boy this thing hustles it hustles <laughs> and enough for it to like okay i'll buy it i'll trade in my springfield my beloved springfield for this bike this is so much more though you have not only you got more the more power and i think uh oh curve and um you have more power and i i think this one handles better uh i don't know for sure uh, I don't think the Springfield had inverted inverted forks. This does have inverted forks. It it gives you a little bit stiffer front end, from my understanding, and more able to to do its job better. I don't know for sure, but that's just what they say. That's what all the sport bikes are. They're inverted, inverted, inverted because of that reason alone, because of the rigidity that it gives you over the uh, traditional forts. This bike here, and I'm going to compare it to Harley because that's its main competitor, or maybe its only competitor in this specific, in this segment. Harley, I found out Harley does have a bike that can compete with this bike. It's a CVO and it's a 131. But you're paying way over 40 grand for it. I think this particular model, the limited, is like 28, 29,000. New. I'm talking about new prices. I bought this one. This is a 22 model. Do y'all don't know? This is and it we're in uh, March of 24, and I bought this for 21.9, and it had 4,000 miles on it. Uh, it don't have a scratch on it. I, you know, I was I thought it was brand new actually when I saw it. The only thing that gave it away that was used it was in the used uh, in the used lot, but it was very lightly used. I, I checked underneath there's no scrapes or nothing nobody's ever dragged the floorboards or anything I will soon fix that no problem the screen has not blacked out so anyway there is going to be more content to come on this particular Springfield and if I uh, experience something on the way home, because I got another 25 minutes to get home, uh, because I'm taking the back way, uh, I'll add it to the end of the video.
but as you can see it's working great and uh, I just hope for the best thanks for watching